stay in the hole until what? The hole is protected, it bangs out. Then you got to come out with high hands. For all those years, it was kind of a, a shotgun start on October 15th. You know, today we have had 25, 26 practices since June. You know, they're kind of two or three days between, but it, it was a good day. We had good energy, then like a, we looked like a team with eight new guys and just uh, didn't have much durability, you know, and kind of at the end didn't have a lot of toughness. But I thought we had a lot of nice plays early, turned the ball over a lot, kind of what you see with a lot of new guys right now. And, uh, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good start. We got a long way to go. Reggie Upshaw's leadership skills have gotten a lot better. And uh, he's a real quiet freshman, but you know, he, he's playing with a lot of older guys. Jaquan Raymond, you know, who now is his third year. That first year he, he set out, uh, his leadership is getting better. And uh, Marcus Terrence needs to be better than he was today in practice. He's a great guy and he's been doing fine. So, so all those guys have got to gradually help us. And then you know what? The more leaders you have, the better you are. So some of those first year guys, whether they're junior college or freshman, have got to start advancing up in some communicative roles. The experience that we do have, those guys need to use their experience, you know, and not play like a, a new guy. So, uh, so it was better, but like I said, those guys have got to, they've got to make a lot of progress. I mean, you know, it'll come out that, you know, we'll have no guys on all, any all preseason, all league team. And, uh, you know, so I think it's one of those things, those, we, that's happened before. I mean, we got some of these guys that kind of come into this league and they say, holy cow, he really made a lot of progress from last year to this year. We've had some durable teams, you know what I mean? Guys who can, who can take contact and physicalness and play. And I don't know, I've never been through it with these guys. So I, I don't know. So I guess right now, week one, to see if, if our new guys can make it, you know, and can, can be durable and tough enough to kind of get through. From being here for 14 years and getting here when I was, when the seats were green and yellow and orange and, and all that, you know, to see it today, uh, it really is. I mean, that first phase of, of the construction was terrific. The lighting is great. Uh, just the, the effect that it has on the floor right here. And I think it makes just the scoreboards and everything. And what it is, you, you do them for two reasons. You do them for a, a better fan experience and a better player experience. And I think that's what it's going to be. The fans going to have a better experience coming to the game. The player is going to enjoy it better. The atmosphere is going to be a little more intimate. So they've really done a good job with it.